Now what we're going to do is finish the programming for the board. We're going to go ahead and we're going to have it connect to my web interface that I've already set up uh, just temporarily before we get into building it ourselves just to get this board working that way we can we can work with it later so as long as you are actually connected to the internet this will work um, if you are not connected to the internet which would be strange since you're watching this video um, then uh, I would still put all this code in and then wait until you're connected to the internet or if you are running a local server then you should be able to swap out my address in here later that you're going to see uh, with your own. But uh, let's go ahead and get this started. We're going to go ahead and let's remove the light turning on and off. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do an if statement. And we're just going to check again to make sure that the Wi-Fi status is connected. Because even though it connected initially, um, you know, and our light started blinking, so we knew it connected. The loop is now running, and if the Wi-Fi did disconnect, um, that setup function is already run and done with, so we're not going to know that the uh, connection died. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And we're going to make sure that it is connected, unlike the other one where we were checking that it wasn't. We're going to pretty much run everything within this if statement here. We're going to go ahead and create an object of the uh, HTTP client class, and we're going to call it HTTP. And that is done as such, and we're going to call it HTTP. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to set up the uh, URL that we're going to look for. So HTTP dot begin, and we're going to pass this the string, we're going to pass that the uh, URL to my server, and uh, all this text file is, it just holds a uh, 1 or a 0. So the finished web interface we're going to build, when, when you push the on and off button, it is a... Uh, going to trigger some PHP that will change that file to a 1 or a 0 depending on the state of the button already. And right now it's uh, off, I believe. Now we're going to create a uh, variable. It's going to be an integer. And if you're used to my other uh, web development tutorials, this uh, syntax is a little bit different than what we're used to. Normally we don't need to declare uh, what kind of variable we're creating. Most of the higher level uh, languages that we work with uh, in web development kind of figure that out for us. But uh, in the uh, Arduino language, which is based off of uh, C, uh, we do need to declare this is going to be an integer. We're going to call this HTTP code. And this is going to hold uh, the response code. Uh, if you're familiar with Web development again. Uh, it's going to be like a 200 or a 404 or a 500 or whatever. And this is going to tell us whether the page was accessed correctly based on that code. And to do that, dig into the uh, HTTP object and run the get method, which is going to get this and return the uh, code. So now let's go ahead and check to see that we got a code. Basically we're just going to check to see if the code is greater than zero. So we got something back because it's not zero. So if HTTP code is greater than zero and do some stuff. So just to uh, test and make sure that we're all running smooth here, let's go ahead and print something out to the monitor here. And we 
could do and else. Now this isn't very intuitive. We could spit out the uh, code actually if we wanted to, which, um, but uh, for simplicity here, we're just gonna send out this, these two messages. So we'll go ahead and save and upload. And again, this is going a little bit faster. Now that it's already uh, handled those libraries. There you go. So we're running our loop over and over and over and over, and it's pinging my server and saying that we got a response. Um, so now that's happening. Now our light's not blinking anymore because we stopped that code. So now let's go ahead and do something with this, a little more than this. And uh, let's go ahead and grab, we're going to grab the string Oh, something bad happened. Huh, that's interesting. But it also seemed like it stopped. So that could very well be my internet or something. Who knows? Or maybe I just pinged my server to death. I don't know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and we're going to grab the response uh, string. So again, we got to declare what kind of variable we're making. We're making a string and we're going to call it payload. And we're going to use the HTTP object and get string. And this should grab the contents. I'm assuming something bad didn't happen. And save it as payload. And we're going to go ahead and print to the monitor. payload. Oh, now we're getting a response. It probably was my internet, I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and save this and upload it. And if all goes well, we should be getting the message that we got a response or something bad happened. As well as, well, if we got a response, we'll get the uh, the response that we did get. Which should be zero right now. Yep, yep, zero. 